up, folks? Your boy Brappy here, back at you, Eddie Tack. We're up, ready to go. Got up at 5.50. Didn't even have an alarm going. Just woke up. So that's friggin' mint. Down at the house. Gonna get cleaned up, change clothes, change bong water, get some bacon going, and we'll see you in a little bit. We are friggin' cleaned up. Got some new clothes on. Look at that. Big old pan full of bacon. Just gotta love that. So uh, we're gonna get something deep and then a header outside. Yesterday, we got the step all fixed up. So um, today we got a whole bunch of things on the list. We got a whole bunch of things on the list. Probably ain't gonna get half of them done, but a start would be good. Breakfast is friggin' served. Just look on it. Look on to the bacon. Looks man. Had our breakfast, smoked a bong. Now first thing on the list is we're gonna get rid of these rocks, take them down the tracks, throw them off the side of the trail. And then we're gonna cut the grass. Gotta get rid of these leaves too. Clean her up a little bit. Get this area cleaned up, and that's one thing off the list. Now I'll load these rocks up in the trunk. Just got the first load of rocks out of the car. Now we'll go back to the house and do it again. Getting the last load of rocks out of the trunk. We'll unload these babies, then we'll go cut the grass. Time to cut some grass. Time to cut some friggin' grass. Grass is all done, looking good. It is looking good. Oh, I love that. Looks way better. Been working up here trying to work on getting all this stuff cleaned up. It's so basically this pile of crap all has to be cleaned up. And then this trailer over here, it's bit the friggin' biscuit. It's ready to just friggin' fall over. It's got a whole bunch of lumber and crap in there. Got my bikes over here, gonna have to move the bikes. Take this shed roof down. And then we're gonna get the trailer pulled out of here. Clean this whole area up. And then we're gonna be building another woodshed. Yippers, we're gonna be building now they're building something like this one. Something along the lines of this. We'll leave roughly about the same space. Well, I don't know, we'll leave a good 10 feet in between so you can still access the little back shed in there. Then yeah, we'll clear all this area out. And then another shed can go in here. Well, that's one thing out of our way. Wood is piled up. Now we can access these skids. Gotta have the freaking phone charger with me, cause uh, he know what the iPhone is. Got 
them skids out of there. Now I honestly not sure what to do next. Probably gonna start pulling all the lumber over there out and try to stack it somewhere. Gonna have to move that trailer and stuff and a lot of work to be done, but it needs to friggin' be done. I'd say we uh, made a pretty good start so far. You can actually see the trailer tire now. So, we're getting somewhere. Gotta move all this pool stuff. I'm not sure if they're keeping it or gonna try to resell it or exactly what they're doing with the pool stuff. So I'm just gonna take all that, put it down by the trailer for now. Then just keep chipping my way at this. And uh, my goal is to have this thing pulled out by today. That's the goal. This jacuzzi thing here has got some friggin' weight to her. So I used the dolly. Worked mint. I'm just gonna pile all the stuff down here. It's out of the way. And then I'll worry about it another day. Got the rest of her all loaded up on the lawnmower. So we'll just uh, trailer this down there. And then we'll work at getting the rest of the junk. It's looking better already though. Grab that board and this big bastard's on there. Didn't even realize till I was setting down another board. Saw him running. Like, that's a big friggin' spider. Oh, he's gone now. It's a friggin' big guy though. 11.57, almost lunchtime. Having another beer. Gonna go in, get a hot dog or something going for lunch, and then back to work. Dinner's gonna be friggin' scrumptious tonight, folks. Oh yeah. Gonna be good. Gonna be good. Lunch is served. Lunch is friggin' served. Hey, get away from there, mosquito. Getting Chloe some fresh water, and then we're gonna go back up to the hill. So I was trying to figure out what to do with all the bricks up against the trailer here. So I came up with this for now. Tucks them out of the way. Nice neat little pile. Put this under them so no roots or anything grow up between. And if you need a brick, they're right there. So I think that's the best bet for now anyways. Until we get the shed built at least. And then we can move things around and put some things in the shed and whatever. Chloe was barking her face off. Some guy just stopped in. I was talking to him for a little while. He was asking questions about the old hotel, wondering the history of it and whatnot. So I was telling him a little bit. Well, I don't know everything, but I was just telling him what I know. He was like, oh, well. And I was like, yeah. And then he scared it off. <laughs> he scared it off. Who's this going by? I have no clue. Not a clue. Gramps just got home. He's just resting up, having a smoke and a coffee. Got the chain hooked up to the tongue of the trailer. Got the truck in position. So now it's time to see what'll happen. Time to see if anything happens. Oh, I see some movement. take a look see what that did for us don't want to be dragging anything okay so it looks like we might 
get away with clearing this trailer. Might. It's gonna be close, but we might clear it. Oh yeah. She's back. The frame might be good though. The frame might still be good. Alright, well. Alright, what's the shed looking like? I don't know if it's like attached or if it's just gonna fall apart or what. So it was close, but not close enough. Ended up having to yank the little trailer over there. But now, I can pull it out a little bit more, get it straightened out. Try jack up the front, put it on the back of the truck, and then uh, haul her down to the chicken coop for now. This one, if you need handles in your trailer, <laughs> you got a plane in here. Some nice ones, not some not so nice ones. So, and there's tools color here. Uh, you got enough lights in the trailer. Oh yeah, yeah. Because you don't remember where this used to be. Oh, up in the bunk bed yeah. at the camp. I get that. For a simple reason, sometimes it comes handy working on a car. Yeah. After dark, eh? Just clip it in your parry posts or whatever and work on it. <laughs> So I got the trailer just about ready to go down to the chicken coop. Friggin' uh, had to use my truck. Gramps' truck was too tall. The trailer would have just been doing a big old wheelie. But she's on the Dakota. We got her on. We got her on. Took Gramps for a ride back to the camp in the derby car. Had to go grab a few things. Got a cane for himself. Gonna finish this beer and then go back outside. Work on uh, getting some more things done. Maybe a uh, light a fire when it gets a little bit darker. I don't know though. I'm sort of tired, so maybe we'll just work on cleaning things up. Then call her night. So uh, we'll see you in a bit.